in our next example, let's try dealing with cubic polynomials. Let's say we have this function. x cubed minus 13x plus 12. First, using the conventional way, we need to find one factor of this equation and then use synthetic division or long division to obtain the other factors. Now, in order to do this, we have to determine first the factors of 12. So the factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. And you will also need to copy the negative values of your factors. So let's try plugging these into our equation. And let's find what value of x will give us 0. If something gives us 0, then that means that your number is one of the roots of the equation. So let's try 1 first. Substituting 1 to our equation, it will become 1 cubed minus 13 times 1 plus 12. 1 cubed is 1. Negative 13 times 1 equals negative 13 plus 12. 1 minus 13 is negative 12 plus 12 equals 0. And so, one of our roots is x equals 1. Now, we can use synthetic division to find the other factors. So let's try that. So using x equals 1, we can apply synthetic division. Now, to perform synthetic division, the first thing that we have to do is to write the highest root and in decreasing order. So x cubed, next is x squared, next is x, and next is your constant. Now, the coefficient of x cubed is 1. The coefficient of x squared is non-existent. It's virtually plus 0x squared. The coefficient of x is negative 13. And then your constant is 12. Now, to apply our synthetic division, we have to put this outside of this. Now, again, this is 1 because your x equals 1. So the next step that we have to make is to bring down 1. And then we have to multiply this number by this number. So 1 times 1 equals positive 1. So plus 1. And then the next step that we have to make is to add these numbers. So 0 plus 1 equals 1. Now, 1 times 1 equals 1. Negative 13 plus 1 equals negative 12. Negative 12 times 1 equals negative 12. 12 minus 12 equals 0. Now, the next step is to pair these values with one degree lower of these values. So one degree less of x cubed is x squared. One degree less of x squared is x. And 
one degree less of x will simply become your constant. And so pairing these, you will have 1x squared plus 1x minus 12. Or simply x squared plus x minus 12. So your factors will be setting this to 0. We move 1 to the left side and it will become x minus 1 equals 0. So this is your factor. So your factors will be x minus 1 times this expression. However, just a reminder, it's important to factor out completely our equation. Let's try to simplify this equation. So let's copy this one. Now, what are the factors of negative 12 that add up to the middle term 1? We can try 1 and negative 12, negative 12 and 1, but none of these values would add up to 1, which is what we need because the coefficient of our middle term is 1. So let's try 4 and negative 3. 4 times negative 3 equals negative 12. 4 plus negative 3 equals 1. So we can factor this out by pairing these values to our x. And so the factors of this equation would be x plus 4 and x minus 3. Minus 3. So let's copy this one. Now we have factored out this equation into this expression. And so our final factors will be x minus 1 times x plus 4 times x minus 3. So these will be your factors. Again, using our calculator, we can easily obtain these factors by just merely inputting the coefficients of this function. So let's press mode and then 5 and then pick 4 because we are dealing with a cubic equation because the highest degree is 3. So let's press 4 and then our a is 1, our b is non-existent because we don't have a coefficient of x squared. Our c is the coefficient of x which is negative 13. And our d is your constant value. 12. Press equals and then our x1 is negative 4, our x2 is 3, and our x3 is 1. Now setting these to 0, we can move all of these to the left side. And so we will have x plus 4 equals 0, x minus 3 equals 0, and x minus 1 equals 0. And so these will be your factors, which is the same with this one. 